Hey, welcome to the follow through. I'm Pastor Fred. We're listening to God, living for Him every single day. Hit that subscribe button, share this with somebody. We're going to do something a little different over the next couple of weeks. What we're going to do is, um, is like really look at like how do you read the Bible? Because, because like a lot of people have questions. A lot of people don't feel real confident when it comes to reading the Bible. They, they want to just say, well, you know, that's for somebody who's been to seminary uh, or has been to college. They, they should really handle that as if it's like this really complex, like, you know, thing that you can't crack and it's just too much. And, and I, I really believe that the scripture was written for all of us to look at every day, to take in and to really uh, read Mark and inwardly digest right down into our very being all that God is saying to us. Because I think that's really what it is. But, but here's the thing. Um, you, you've heard for years to read your Bible. And, and yet sometimes we, we just don't. Right, we, 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 we go for long stretches, perhaps, without really reading the Bible. And, and again, we might hear, get, catch a passage here, a passage there. We, we, we hear something at church, maybe on the follow-through here. Um, but, but really getting into it for yourself. I think part of the problem with that is that we don't realize what it is. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, because if I were to tell you to go read a book on Finnish pottery in the... 17th century, you'd probably look at me weird. You'd be like, I I'm not going to waste my time. Uh, I, in fact, I don't even know if that exists. I just kind of made it up on the fly here. But um, sometimes the Bible feels like that. Like, what? why would I read that? Like, why is that important to me at all? And, and I want to say that it really is. It's not some obscure book that's good for trivia or good for you know historical uh, you know knowledge. If you're if you get caught into in a on Jeopardy or if you're on you know in a, in a discussion with somebody. No, John dials in the purpose of the Bible, and I and I really think this is sort of the undergirding of it, the foundation of why we read and all of that. And, and again, I think it gets us in the game. Uh, John says these are written all the things that John recorded. He says, I didn't record every single thing that Jesus did. He says, I didn't record every little word that he said. There, there wouldn't be, right, um, you, just, you just wouldn't be able to, to, to fit them all in, in all the books in all the world. It, just would, it wouldn't fit. And it's not the purpose. No, he says, these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. It's all about who Jesus is. The whole book, cover to cover. Right? It's about the one who saved us. It's about the fact that he did save us. And right here, right here we go. There, there is a problem called sin. There is something that is eating away at us, that is destroying us. It has destroyed our relationship with God. And we needed Jesus to come and save us. So this is really, literally life and death. And I don't think I'm being dramatic enough on that point. Right? Because... Our eternal life is at stake here. And really, our, our lives here are at stake, right? I'm in danger of living my life for some other purpose other than what God has created me to be, who He's made me to be, what He's called me to do. And I might get to the end of my life going, man, I missed the whole thing. I thought it was about money and fame and popularity. I thought it was about all those other things that we are just fed day in and day out. I need God to, to pull me away from all that and say, you know what? No, no, no. You're my child. You are loved. You are forgiven. You are free. Believing in my son, you have eternal life. That's what he wants us to see in these pages of scripture. That that would change us, that that would encourage us and, and, and help us in terms of our faith growing and developing. And I think what he wants us to do is to help others to do the same. Because you, be you might be hearing this going, you know, I, I, I do all of that, Pastor. All right, I, I see Jesus in there and I know he, believe, he died for me. I believe in that and that gives me eternal life. And, and I'm reading my Bible every day and I'm like, awesome. What I want to say to you is please find somebody that, that doesn't know it. Someone that's struggling with it. Use this video. Use all the other videos that we have. Get into the scripture. Look at this passage with them to encourage them to, to and, and let them know, hey, I'm here. I'll, if you got questions, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to try to answer them. 
because I don't think this is just for us. I think this is for the people around us because I want everybody to follow Jesus. John wants everyone to believe in him and have eternal life. What an awesome, awesome thing. I pray that makes a difference for you each and every day. Talk to you next time.